Is and I, I actually, the training program I followed said, if you can do 15, 16 miles, you can do 26. Yeah. So I, that was probably just lazy of me, but yeah. I, I, ran, <laughs> I ran 18 miles was my longest. Really? And uh, Well, 20 miles is typically the longest they'll recommend yeah. you run anyway. And uh, depending on how many, you know, miles you'll run, it's it's just a dip. It, it got tiring for me. For me, it did. Yeah. But and it's time-consuming. Absolutely, it's time-consuming. Just like the folks that watched uh, Gun Talk Live presented by Palmetto State Armory. Uh, thanks for joining us, guys. Uh, we've got Jason Nash here from uh, Federal. And you guys are rolling out some new stuff. We're not going to get to that yet. But uh, what's, what are you hearing on the SHOT Show floor? What do you, have you seen anything besides the inside of the Federal booth yet? Yeah, I've seen a couple of partner booths where I've had yeah. meetings, but yeah, it's definitely yeah. back to back. You know, we try to get as much accomplished here as we can because it's a limited time right. and it's the only place you can see everybody in person, right, at one time. It's like a it's like a it. big family is, is is all it is. And it is. and uh, guys, I'm monitoring comments, but we're gonna do another giveaway. Okay, so leave a comment. We're gonna pick a you know a random name. We'll we'll pick a a number, like we have been. Uh, and we'll send you out some of the new ammo. Uh, so we'll, I'll coordinate all that, but you guys leave a comment, and we're going to send you guys out some of this ammo. Um, but uh, you actually had a good year. Uh, you had a little bit better year than me as far as the hunting side of things. <laughs> and I, you, we were talking briefly before, and I want to kind of revisit all those stories because yeah. you actually went on a do-it-yourself Alaskan moose hunt. I did. It, it was fantastic. It was the first time I'd been on a moose hunt, and uh, – to have that do-it-yourself experience and have to clean the animal yourself, pack it out yourself. Um, of course, we had the help of a guide who dropped us right where we needed to be right. and gave us the gear we needed. But it, it was uh, really a fantastic experience. Yeah. And we got to experience terrible Alaska weather and <laughs> rain and fog. Like it typically and, is. Yeah, that's um, part of the And deal. That's, that's how it, it typically goes down. So walk us through uh, what made you decide to want to go do a do-it-yourself adventure like that. I mean, because as hunters – we're always trying to challenge ourselves to do something new. And a do-it-yourself Alaskan hunt is not easy. It's not. But, um, you know, I've had the f great fortune of hunting, you know, along with my family. I've also hunted with the industry and been to a number of great places. Right. But it's typically had a, I've had a guide with me. Yeah. So to be able to go out and, and do it on my own with, with a friend of mine and w was just a great challenge and yeah. something I hadn't experienced before. Yeah. And... Uh, now, a lot of folks kind of understand, like, the industry hunts. You know, a lot of times, you're right, you're with an outfitter, and it's it's kind of less challenging because they know where the deer are coming out or they know the turkeys are going to be there. They know the fish are there. So it's kind of like, well, we're, we're really just testing product. And a lot of these things, you were shooting some new ammo um, on that hunt, and, you know, this was different. This was a do-it-yourself, all, you know, you just go out there, and it's on you to get the job done. Yeah, absolutely. And I think one of the more challenging things was making sure I was well versed in how to judge the size of an animal. Right. You know, we weren't in an area that would have, you know, there were no fines if I would have shot, right. uh, you know, a small <laughs> bull. But, you know, just to take the time and think about, right. you know, you're not, you don't have somebody behind you saying, shoot. Yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You have to think, it's is this on the you. animal? Yeah. Well, it's just like bear hunting. I mean, when you, you go out bear hunting and, and uh, you have to use your eyes to judge that animal and, and that's that's a challenge in itself, but also to uh, have faith in your equipment, I think, mm -hmm. is one of the things that we kind of lose sight of, and we understand that, you know, you have to have confidence in the gear you're shooting. And uh, what what ammunition were you shooting? Well, we we've had the advantage at Federal and, and the privilege. We introduced the premium line way back in 1977, and the the whole philosophy behind premium was to bring the best bullets in the industry into factory loads. So if you don't want to hand load, you don't have to. Right. And, and in this case, you Partition started that, Partition right. and, and the Sierra Game King version um, started that whole thing yep. back in the day. And, and so Nosler Acubond is one that we yep. had in the line. We took it out. It came <laughs> yep. back, and I used a 180-grain Acubond in 30-06. 30-06 so, yeah. on a yeah. moose. And a lot of people, I mean, a 30-06 would probably be one of those calibers that I think you could take anywhere in North America and almost take any game with it. And a moose, moose are not small animals they are large but uh no um anything now you said that you had some interesting things happen on the hunt you encountered the bad weather was there anything else wild that happened to you guys 
Well, well, we did have a couple of bear encounters. You know, nothing <laughs> too scary. You know, there are a lot bear, bear attacks are all <laughs> kind of hot no, right yeah. now. But, uh, yeah, we, we did have a black bear come into the camp the last night smelling the meat that we had there. And yeah. he actually chose my antlers to pull away and chew on. So, really? Yeah, was, That's of all the things. Yeah. That you, the one thing you're going to take back, I mean, you're going to take back the meat and everything, but he, just, he chooses to yeah. gnaw on the antlers. And just gives them a little character and more oh, yeah. story to tell. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Bears, are, bears are just punks. <laughs> like, I think they're like the big bullies of the outdoors. Like, they, like, well, I'm, I'm going to tip this trash can over, and you get to pick it up all later, and I'm going to eat your waffles that you threw away yesterday morning. <laughs> and uh, But, yeah, uh, guys, we are monitoring comments here with Jason Nash of uh, Federal and uh, leave those comments because we're going to be giving away some ammo. We'll uh, make that selection later on in the day. And I know we have a uh, – this is a good comment, but this is a comment that we might save for later, but I bet Jason has his uh, uh, opinion on it. But uh, it looks like William's asking, uh, what's the best uh, slash most effective ammo choice for small guns like the P365? Um, and he says, uh, is lighter, faster, better? Uh, do you load for the specifically? Yeah, and that's a great question. We actually do have a micro line of federal premium personal defense ammunition that's designed for smaller frame guns, yep. and then we have our full power uh, HST offering. Um, right. So I think it's really, for us, typically we drive bigger bullets slower, gives us right. a little better terminal effect. Okay. But... Um, it, it all depends on your personal taste, too. I mean, we have a number of different options and bullets and velocities, depending on the gun you've got and depending on right. your preference. That's what we yeah. try to offer is as many options uh, as people want. We've got Hydroshock, our new Hydroshock Deep, HST. Yeah. Uh, Spear is a sister company of ours and has yeah. Gold Dot, which is another oh, one yeah. bullet in law enforcement. <laughs> so, you know, we've got many options for... Well, I think that's what makes right. Federal such a great story is the the amount of ammunition you guys are putting out there and it's and it's kind of all lives in within that fame, same family of it's high quality stuff and it's stuff that you can count on i mean just like the uh moose hunting i mean you can count on it <laughs> yep yep um but yeah oh we we do actually have a good comment on here it says i'm no longer in california so if i win i can actually accept it uh, congratulations. <laughs> I'm going to say congratulations, William, because I wouldn't want to live there either, especially if I couldn't win something. Uh, but, yeah. So what do we have new this year? What's what's the big buzz around the shop floor in the federal booth? Well, our big initiative for this year is we have we're gone through a full rebranding. Mm -hmm. and, and what we looked at is we've had some great product successes we've launched in the past, Black Cloud, Fusion. Oh, absolutely. But we haven't always tied that back to the federal brand very well. Right. And, and as over time, you get all these different package looks. So what we did is we talked to our customers, we talked to the shooters and hunters yep. who actually buy the product and said, look, what's important to you when you go to the shelf and you see this little bitty, yeah. you know, real it's, estate there? What, what do you need to see to right. make your decision yeah. um, to find the best ammo for you? Yeah. So we, we talk to them, we find out what they look for, we test the concepts with right. our customers to make sure that... Um, we help them make their decisions yeah. at the show. You make it easier for us to go, that is exactly what I want. Mm -hmm. um, and the federal premium line has been around forever, and it's always been known for uh, great terminal performance and, uh, you know, getting the most out of what you guys offer. Mm -hmm. um, so who, who all are you loading right now? I mean, as far as, um, like, a, your hunter bullets, your rifle ammunition. When we've, we've gone back to... Our, our heritage with premium. Oh, we said, yeah, really? It started in a gold box. We had right. maroon for a while. We said, you know what? Premium is gold. We're bringing the gold back. We've got foil treatments on the boxes yeah. to help people notice them better. And we said, you know what? We're going to give people the option to choose the bullet they want. When we discontinued the Barnes TSX bullets, people were a little frustrated about that. We brought Barnes TSX back. Yes. Acubons Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I miss the TSX, honestly. That's, that's one of the ones that I grew up in uh, shooting and uh, one of the ones I trusted. Um, and, I, yeah, I absolutely love it. So um, I'm, I'm glad to see you guys are bringing back uh, the Heritage uh, because um, the Black Cloud. Now, when that came out, that was probably one of the bigger stories of that shot show, I think. I mean, I don't. do you re remember that? Yeah, I, w I was there. I was part yeah. of that launch, and it, it was fantastic. I mean, the, the branding, the product, it, it was one of our yeah. biggest successes. So um, 
we, we have a whole new take on Black Cloud now with our TSS shot. So I know, and that's yeah. and that and uh, you know I was talking to some of your guys over there last year when it really came out, and they were like, "No, you got to try this." And I'm like, "Well, yeah. no, I love that." <laughs> and so they talked me into trying it, and it is it's even better, and you know it, it shoots out of my gun better, um, and turkeys seem to not like it. So that's yeah. I mean that's important, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we got some good comments rolling in. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I trust my life with your products. Thank you. I mean, that's that's important. Thank you. Uh, so what else is coming down the line? I know we've got one box that's not here that uh, we were wanting to touch on. Uh, you know, the BYOB boxes, the 22 ammo that you guys are doing. And it, what's BYOB? Bring your own bullets or bring <laughs> your own bucket. You know, I think it's bring your own bucket because yeah. these, these buckets are massive. And they're pretty cost affordable, for, I mean, for 22 ammunition. You know, uh, I remember, you know, what is it? A few years ago, we had a sh like a shortage of 22 ammo and everybody was clamoring to get it, couldn't get it. And but now you're offering boxes that are stacked full of it. We are. And really, it's again, it's about understanding how people use the product. Right. You know, sometimes our packaging looks great, but it isn't the most functional depending on what you're doing. Right. You know, if you're hunting, this box is perfect. But if you're going to the range, you want to be able to grab your it's like. When I'm at home, my wife dumps a bunch of M&Ms into a bucket, and it's yeah. just easier to get your hands on them, right? Exactly. So Instead of sitting there <laughs> shaking, shaking the package. <laughs> yeah. uh, I didn't think about that analogy, but I do enjoy that because it offers the perfect illustration because you just dip, get your hand in there and take it out. Yeah, and they're also really great quality buckets that are yes. reusable. They're stackable. Yep. Um, they fit well on a shelf in your ammo room, so we're excited about yep. those and, and really um, – there's both bottles and buckets right. and um, rimfire and handgun ammunition. So oh, we really? just think so, it's going to be okay. a much more. So you're so it's not only 22. It's going to be what is it, uh, nine? Nine, 40, 45. 45. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So a lot of the major calibers that you can just mm -hmm. buy in bulk right there. Yep. Um, good comments, guys. Keep them rolling in because we're um, going to give the giveaway tomorrow. Um, so we'll announce that. I'll find out a little information about you know what you do, what you hunt with, um, and get you what you are going to shoot uh, because this stuff is amazing gear um, what else is on the way can you give us a little insight on on what we can expect maybe at nra show or anything that the customers and uh, shooters are actually starting to talk about well again we're, we're ammunition specialists yes. we don't do anything other than ammunition and we're the largest ammunition manufacturer yep. so it gives us the advantage of being able to really focus in on what do people want? What are the hot calibers? What's the best way for them to use the product? Yeah. Uh, we're so we're looking at all the trends yeah. right now. We're talking okay, to sir. the experts. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't have any. I know you can't. <laughs> I know he can't. He's he's dancing around. What, what he's doing? He's dancing around the like. He knows. He knows what's coming down the line. But he's making you guys wait. He's making me wait, and I'm not very happy about it. But the 450 Bushmaster that you guys are bringing out now. And that's some good stuff. I mean, especially with the power shock. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, and 450 Bushmaster. I'm sure a lot of the Midwestern hunters are excited about that caliber, and they're it's gaining a lot of traction. Um, so, uh, have you had a chance to shoot that on a critter yet? I have not, but I'm going to do that this fall. Okay. And um, one kind of fun thing about this new package is we we put the classic meat pole. Yes. Of deer hanging in camp. Yeah. I mean, again, to the Midwest heritage. Yeah, if and, you uh, look just it, the excitement of deer camp. And one of the things if you guys look on a lot of the packaging, um, you'll notice a lot of a lot of other manufacturers like you can't uh, you can't see velocities and you can't see a lot of their uh, information on the packages that you need to understand. Like when you go to look at a store shelf, there's hundreds of different types of ammo. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, and it's hard to make that decision, especially new shooters getting into the sport. What do I need to know? And, you know, a lot of times they'll hit the interwebs to go see this stuff. But now you guys offer, like, packaging that has all the information in uh, great spots where you can see what you're actually looking at. Yeah, but again, making sure people, it, it's easier for them to find what they're right, looking for. Right, that, and that's, that's our goal. That's what it is, and you're tying all the brand together. You're tying every, uh, you know, all the classic and the heritage brands that you kind of started out with. Uh, you said you mentioned you were loading burger. We're loading um, burger. We've got a Hornady option in our power shock line. I mean, we, we're taking all the best bullets and putting them in our products. Okay. This is a really good comment. Uh, 
from uh, Unberry. Uh, what makes Federal feed so well? It's my go-to brand for finicky guns. Okay. So what, what do you, I mean, that's a really good uh, statement. Yeah, and I would appreciate the great feedback. Yeah. I mean, it, it's all about the team back at the factory. Yeah. I mean, we're, Federal is loaded in Minnesota, and we've got a really dedicated, passionate staff yeah. that cares about the quality of the product. Yeah. You know, if, if it's got the Federal name on it, and it's a premium product, it, any of our products, yeah. they want to make sure, because they're shooters themselves, right. they want to make sure that it's going to work for them. Yeah. I know those guys back there. They all are, they're hunters, they're active in the outdoors, and they are active on the range. Mm -hmm. So. Good night. What is that? Someone, Someone's firing off something. Somebody's having fun. <laughs> yeah, someone's having fun. Well, uh, you guys get out there. Look for the new packaging coming in stores. Uh, look for all the classic heritage uh, brands that you're familiar with from Federal. This is Gun Talk Live brought to you by Palmetto State Armory.